This is About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills, author, speaker, and entrepreneur. Sit back and enjoy. Living frugal. How y'all doing today, fam? Yeah, check it out. One of the most important things, if you're starting out on a business path, and this is irregardless of what business you want to get into, unless you starting out with a capitalization of a million dollars, you're going to have to start off living frugal. Because let's be real, most people, and especially in these times when uh, you're going to get a lot of budget cuts and you know, and despite what they're saying, many jobs are disappearing. Um, if you're going to live the entrepreneurial life, you're going to have to start off living frugal. You're going to have to start off living frugal. And I mean, and this affects everything until you get started because your goal is going to have to be you know, living frugal at first, putting money into your business and then building up, you know, and that might entail if you really about the business, it might entail that you make a major lifestyle change. Like, say you got that big old house or uh, you got like a nice apartment, condo, anything, and you know, because you were making big money, but you have that itch, right? You have that itch to make a you know, to be an entrepreneur. Well, you, you know what? You're going to have to cut back. You're going to have to cut back. You might have to sell that house. You might have to move out of a big apartment into a smaller apartment. There's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that. See, here's the thing. Sometimes people get stuff and they want to hold on to it, but it's hard. But sometimes if you sacrifice a little bit, you can get a lot more in return. You know, you might have to move from that one bedroom place that was nice and spacious, had all the amenities and everything to you might have to move to like some basement apartment or you might have to move to some uh, studio. There's nothing wrong with that because you can always get it back. You know, if you sell that house, say you sell the house, you get a little bit of money from that and I could help capitalize you. But that's that to be even if you sold a house, you got some money from it. You can use that for the business and you can use that to, uh, you know, be like a backup for you as you're building stuff. Because you got to think in terms of you'll get it back later. Now, there's nothing wrong with having nice things. In fact, you can use that as a motivation to really get out there and work. But when you start out, shoot, you got to think frequently. So, you know, it starts with where you live. You got to think, okay, can I afford this place uh, as an entrepreneur? You know, I mean, you can get a decent place. I mean, you don't want to be like in some bad neighborhood or something, but, you know, you can get some small place or depending on the situation, depending on what you're doing, you know, you got people, you can still get rooms in people's houses and stuff, you know, and it's nothing, you know what, it's nothing wrong. Don't think in those terms that something's wrong. Just think in terms of, look, you're taking a step back so you can take a big step forward, right? But anyway, you want to live frugal. So, you know, you have to look at everything. It was like, do you really need that expensive car? Like, it, I mean, is it necessary for business? You know, unless your business is working for Uber or Lyft or something. You know, you might have to get like a more uh, economical car. Someone, something that doesn't take up as much gas might be smaller. Nothing wrong with that. You can always get a big one later when you're successful. You know, do you need that cable package you use? I mean, do you really watch all those channels? And that's something I'm thinking about, too. I'm like, do I really watch all those channels? But then at the same time, you know, it's kind of cool to sit there and, you know, got the amenities I got with it. And plus, I got a good, I got a good package anyway. So I said, "What the hell?" But if it was at that point, I, I would just have basic cable. You know, I'm at, I'm not at that point, but there's been times I've been at that point and just dealt with basic cable. So it's like, all right, so you live frugally there. Do you really need to wear 
have that wardrobe unless it's related to your business, like you're looking good or something's related to your business. You know, you might get take a lot of your clothes and um, either give them to Goodwill or find some consignment shop. And it's not, and you know what? You really want to cut down a lot. You want to cut, do you want to trim the fat? You want to trim the extras. You know, I know you used to going out to like those fancy restaurants and stuff, you know, those burger places or those seafood places. But do you really need that or can you cook? You know, always think if you're getting out here, always think about everything. You know, where I live now, I have like a little dollar store, right? You know what? A dollar toilet paper, a dollar worth of toilet paper for a pack of toilet paper. It's better than paying five dollars for it, cause then I got that other four dollars for some other stuff. And even then, you you know, just talking about the dollar store, like uh, I'd be highly reluctant to eat any food at a dollar store. But you can get a lot of uh, little basics, like I get my paper products from a dollar store. You know, and it's you know, and sometimes a cleaning stuff. Sometimes, I'm, you know, kind of funny about that, but I can wipe my ass with dollar store toilet paper. You know, but you want to think in those terms. You think about, you know, look for the discount places, right? Look for the discount places. Look for farmers markets and stuff. Depending on where you live, you there's always somebody around selling some, um, like with a little fruit stand or something. And I'm always on the lookout for it. I'm driving around. I'd be like, yeah, where is one? Where is one? And in fact, where I live, even though it's a... Uh, has a fair amount of affluence where I live. They always have farmers markets. Hey, you know, I'm gonna tell y'all something that's funny. People with money tend to be cheap. <laughs> if you want, if you want to really learn how to live frugally, find some people with money. Because the most they might spend money on is a house. <laughs> that's, that's the most. People with money don't spend a lot of money on clothes. Most of them will drive ordinary cars. <laughs> but that's why they got. You know, that's why they can spend money, have a big old house, because they ain't, they ain't putting it on their back. They put it into an appreciable asset, <laughs> which is a house. And I, I'll probably do a video on that. But, you know, where I live, you know what? Plenty of farmer's markets. You know, it's, a, it's like you go there, you get whatever food, whatever. You know, and just figure out, I like, just with clothes, too. Do you really need that name brand thing? You starting out, do you really need it? Do you really need to impress somebody like that? See, one thing, a lot of t- many often many people are so concerned with impressing somebody that they're poor. You know, this millionaire uh, said, he said, status is just impressing people you don't know with what you don't really have. And it's like, forget that noise. You're trying, to, you're trying to have that money in your pocket. So, you know, you can get basic stuff. I mean, you can find this, find the discount stores, find everything while you building up. Then when you build, you don't have to stay. See, here's the beauty of it. You don't have to live that lifestyle the rest of your life. But while you building up, you need to maximize how you spending your money. You know, you don't want to be in that place where you spending just a bunch of money on just some stuff just to keep up with the Joneses. That's crazy. You know? I mean, even if you're living in a, uh, even like taking care of your car, I know a lot of people like going to the car wash and stuff, but even if you're living in an apartment, I've seen people, shoot, they just get a bucket out, <laughs> get out of their place, don't have a water thing, and just, just clean. You know, it's like you start thinking about, okay, where can I save money? Where can I save money? Because that money goes two places. One, you get extra money. Two, you can put it back in your business. And then long term, like I said, if you want to live opulent and all that, do so once you actually have money. Because that's why a lot of people don't really get any place. You know, they trying to keep up with the Joneses. You like, like you see in like some poor neighborhoods, you got kids walking around with like tennis shoes and stuff that cost several hundred dollars. And, you know, they, they got all the flyest clothes and whatnot. And I'm like, but you're living in a housing project. And we've seen that. And that's stupid to me. Now that same person save all that money. Stop trying to impress some people. They could probably get out of there. Probably do something. And see like I said. Most of the people who won't be on that path. Ain't starting with a bunch of money. You know they, they start. Man I'm going to tell you the truth. 
the average person who has to walk on that entrepreneurial path got to start from zero. And in fact, I might do I may do a book that like that. Man, y'all help me out. I mean, I already got a book called Starting from Zero, but it's not about being an entrepreneur. I might I might do that. Starting from zero. <laughs> you know, I might do something about like starting a business from uh, from scratch with no capital. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Shoot. Y'all y'all help the brother out. Y'all serve the purpose. Anyway, y'all. Uh, but yeah, you wanna start off at, at living frugal. And who knows? Um and like I said, you get a lot of people who got money, but you ain't gonna know it. You know, like I said in uh, where I live, it's like fairly affluent. It's fairly affluent. Yet you got, I mean, you got like dollar stores, you got farmer's markets. People in the cars are mostly ordinary. I don't see any like really, I don't see that many Mercedes around where I live. <laughs> or like high browns, I see some. I just don't see that many considering the money around here. That's because you, you see a lot of economy cars and stuff. So you got to think about those things. See, let's start off living frugal. You know, you can still live clean, though. You can still live clean. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a book. Y'all done, shit. Y'all done did something for me. Anyway, yo, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. All right, let's go make that money.